Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you are new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you are old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a Fortnite thumbnail design in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'll start off by creating a new document and I have the sizes of 1920 by 1080 all in pixels. That is the standard size of every th YouTube um, thumbnail. So if you want to create a thumbnail, you have to use 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to do this real quickly because I've already got the background from Google and it's from the same Fortnite game of which I have not even played it yet. I don't even know how it is even played. So I'm just going to show you guys how to make the thumbnail. Okay, so let's do this. So I'll first of all go to place and then place my image. I have two of the images over here, but I'm going to make use of the first one. That is the Fortnite with a greenish background. That looks quite good to me. And I'm going to right click and rasterize the layer so that it can be an editable layer, right? But this looks very, very bright to me. So I'm going to decrease um, the brightness of it um, by using the curves that is control M and if you're using a Mac that is command M on your keyboard so I'll drag it down like this ouch so like that and I'll have something like this right and I'll click OK now I'm going to show you a very simple trick here that so many people want to we like to know how people do it rise gum um, um, Jake Paul and some other people they use it in their thumbnails and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick so first of all add a new layer on top here go and select your brush too right and make sure that you have the hardness to 0% now choose any color of your choice of which I'm going to sample a color like something like this from here and then you can start to paint around the edges of this one so just like that so you paint over here and then you can press ctrl T to open it up if you want to but let's just maintain it like that now the the real thing about this one is you can decrease the opacity anyhow you want it so let's say you want it around 60 percent like that now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a test to this particular thumbnail so maybe the type of or the particular part of the game that you are playing you select your test tool from here and i'm using big noodle title and i will include that in the description if you would like to use it out so i'll click over any place and change the font color to white and then i'm going to change the size to about um, 30 and then the first thing that i will write is fortnite since this is a tutorial so i'll write fortnite and ctrl t or command t will help me to transform the test and i'll place it anywhere that i like but i would like to curve it or i would like to make it a, li a little bit curved so i'm going to select this fortnite test here and i'll select this particular warp test right so i'm going to select the upper arc and i will decrease it down to about 24 or oh, perhaps okay so somewhere around this area and then i can increase it out let's say open it up a little bit so i'm going to take it over here to confirm that i'm done with this particular test now let's add some blending options to it so go to blending options and then the first thing that we're going to add is the stroke that is black stroke over here you can change the color from here but i would like to maintain the black one so i'll, I'll increase it up a little bit like this and then i'll change the gradient to the um the default gradient right but I'm going to decrease the opacity to let's say 
50 percent or so and then i'm going to click ok when i'm done so when i'm done with this i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate of this same test and then i'm going to change that to thumbnail but the thumbnail i don't want it to look like that that curved so i'm going to change it to none over here and click ok so i will i will take my time to position it somewhere around here and perhaps let's apply some color to it let's say some yellow color will do something bright okay so we have this and then we take from here and then we're done now the last thing we're going to copy this one by pressing ctrl j again and then bring it over here and change it to tutorial right and we're going to decrease that one to to let's say um nine nine thereabouts and that one we're going to maintain it just like that so we position it over here now when you are done you're going to select the three test that you made and you press ctrl g to group it and then press ctrl g to make a duplicate hide the second one or the first one perhaps and use the copy the copied one so right click and go to convert to smart objects so perhaps we have those three grouped together and then we can make use of them anyhow like this so what we're going to do to it is going to add some blending options and the first one that we're going to add is the stroke this time around we're going to use the white stroke and then we can increase the size from here as very simple as that right so you can increase the size anyhow you want it and then let's drop some shadow over here size and then some so just like that and then you click ok and this particular group is ready so right now you can transform it like a group you can transform it like it is one it has been grouped to one particular thing now let me show you the final thing here let's say you have your picture over like a screenshot of a picture and then you want to put it on the thumbnail i am not a gamer that's why i'm not using my picture but i'm using the king of all gamers and that is pewdiepie and i have his picture over here i downloaded it from google all right reserved to him he knows nothing about this particular thumbnail so i'll just drag and drop his picture onto the thumbnail and i'll place it somewhere around here so it's as simple as that his face is so bright so i'm going to decrease it out like this and then open up or increase the saturation a little bit right so that it looks nice and then i'm going to right click go to blending options and then i'll add the stroke to his picture also so i'm going to select the white stroke click ok and then i'll increase it out somewhere around here like 10 or better still you can just increase it out oops that is too much so let's bring it i think okay 13 is okay and then you click ok so perhaps let's assume that this is your picture and then you've placed your picture over here you have your title of the game that you are playing or the part of the game that you are playing over here and you have some your backgrounds ready and your thumbnail is very ready to be used for youtube now the latest or the last trick that i'm showing you this is weird it sounds crazy but that is how it is you can't remember we created a new layer and we painted some brush over here this is what you can do now instead of you to be like changing or going over to paint another brush thing over this whole thing you can select this one press ctrl u and it, it will open the hue and saturation for you and you're going to make use of the hue over here so let's see how it works if you drop the slider like this you see that it keeps changing so anyhow you want it you can just change it anytime you want anyhow you want just like that so 
you make a great use of it and just like this and then you are done so if you are okay with the color that you have you can click ok and you see that automatically this has changed so if you go back we have the same or the first color and then if you go forward you have the color that you just change it to so this is a pretty way to make some cool thumbnail for your videos especially the gaming aspect of youtube you make some cool thumbnails for your videos and you can use it to generate as many views as you want so thanks so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe um, leave any comments in the comments box below and i'm going to attend to all of them um i make other videos like channel arts cartoons and business cards and a whole lot picture enhancement and adjustment so if you like to check them out you can go to my channel and then you check them out so thanks so much for watching this video um i'll catch you in the next video bye